Welcome back. I know in the last video we said we were going to do reset positions in this video, but we're actually going to put a pin in that and we are going to first make sure that we get the player assigned to the proper team. Uh, so we're going to assign a player to a team. So let's let's do that first. So when do we want to assign a player to a team? We want to assign a player to a team when pregame starts. So at the, at the start of pregame. So let's go to start pregame. Pregame started. Sign teams. All right, and what are we gonna need? We're gonna need an event. So let's go to our server storage. Let's go to events. Let's, let's just duplicate one of these and we'll call it sign player team. So now let's go to our server script service, game loop, name of a folder. Let's, let's create another folder and name it events. Now let's add a script in here and we will call it assign player team inside of here let's get our local ss equals server oops let's game dot server storage and we'll say a local assign player team equals ss events assign player team and we'll say assign player team dot event colon connect function and we want to pass through a player uh, another thing we're going to need or we don't really need it but i like to do it we'll just say local red team equals game dot team stop red and local blue team equals game dot team stop blue okay so we've got a sign player team what is the logic we're going to use in here well we're going to say if the number of red team get players it's less than or equal to the number of blue team get players then player dot team equals player dot team equals red team else player dot team equals blue team go to start pregame now and we need to assign teams. So start pregame, we'll say for I comma player and I pairs uh, game dot players get players. So for every player in the game, we're going to say assign player team. Nope, nope, nope. Assign player team fire. And then now we pass in the player there. I think that should do it. Uh, you know what? We didn't anchor those uh, reset positions. Let's see them on. I'm on red team. Why is it uh, the teams? Oh, I didn't. Okay. So I think it's working correctly. But whenever we made the teams, we didn't uh, we didn't assign them a team color. So we need to go to blue. We'll do really blue. And for red, we'll do really red. I think that'll do it. Let's see. What team are we on? We're on the red team right now. Now we're on the blue team. So it did work. Um, it did work. So that's good. Now we're on the, the correct team. And let's do this. Let's, uh, or not the correct team, but we're, we're getting assigned a team and it will switch it depending on, uh, how many players are in it. So it'll keep it even, uh, whenever a game starts. One quick thing I was going to do before we end the video is we need to select all these reset positions and anchor them and turn can collide off we'll also turn can touch to be off and we'll anchor it and then that's where we'll end the video so i'll see you guys in the next one